animation would be over by now. Okay. Oh. It's tree pose. I just want tree pose oh, to start. I think I that was tree you pose. Kid. No, that, that's crank kick, which look, right, that would be not gonna... hands together. That would be oh, out. I didn't realize your hands yeah, together. Yeah, that, that was together. I was distracted. That's crank. I was wondering yeah. if you're gonna fall. Yeah, no, but crane kick if do right, no can defense. All right. Good morning, everybody. I'm Bob Herzog. And I'm Jen Dalton. Thank you for joining us on Arc Cincinnati on this Friday Eve. Friday Eve. We have some Huey Lewis in the news news. We do? Which, as you all know, is the best kind of news of all the news. We have more on that just ahead. Okay, I didn't mm. even know that that was coming. That's oh, exciting. He just slipped it right in there. <laughs> There's nothing better than getting lost in a good book. And just ahead, we hear about where you can celebrate Independent Bookstore Day. But first, let's see what's brewing in the Tri-State. I feel like my flexibility has gotten better since we started doing the show. Because I'm yeah. doing more of this, you know what yeah. I mean? I'm bending more. Maybe it's more. all that yoga you're doing. I'm, I'm just, I'm doing it all. I, honestly. Super excited about this. One of the biggest events in the Tri-State is getting even bigger. The people behind Blank are expanding the festival even further in northern Kentucky. Gosh, it is so amazing. And it's if you are keeping track, the festival will now cover downtown Cincinnati, over the Rhine, Covington, and for the first time, brrr, Newport. New projection mapping will be on and at the Newport on the levee. Megacorp Pavilion and the 4th Street Bridge. That is going to be neat. Blink leaders say about 2 million people from 29 states took in the 2022 event. Now you will be able to enjoy art over three cities and 40 blocks. Northern Kentucky is going to receive the full Blink treatment. So everything you're used to seeing from us, projection mapping, large-scale lighted installations, uh, mural illuminations, all those great and wonderful things that we've done in the past, we're bringing and we're doing some fun things that we can't share the details of just yet. One of the big highlights from the last Blink Festival, I think Bob and I both agree on oh, this too, was so the drone cool. show. That's coming back and there will be a new bridge of light, a 100 foot wide array of laser lights will stretch from Covington Landing to Sawyer Point on Cincinnati's riverfront. Blink runs from October 17th through the 20th. Now that is six months away, but if you are planning to Ooh. stay at a hotel, Ooh. you need to start thinking about those reservations now. I want somebody to have been sitting in a blink meeting and God, I want freaking laser beams uh, <laughs> because they got them. And I just, the idea of that just sort of spanning the river and like, I, I understand how it'll obviously be firing in one direction. How does it go? Does it just stop there? Like, how do they stop? You know what I mean? Or because lasers, it'll just keep going. You're one that's more versed in lasers than I am. Oh my gosh, you know. thank you. Yeah. That's so yes. sweet. But did you go, how many days did you go last time? In what, 22, I guess it was. 22, I think we just did. Did we do one day or did we do two? I think we just did one day, but we tried to do as much as possible. And we went, we did Covington and parts like, of Cincinnati. Yeah, we did. And I think we did three and we, we separated, we, we, we separated it into, we did OTR yeah. one night and then we did sort of the more downtown area. And then we did Covington. And I remember last year with my wife saying, there's no way that Newport won't eventually be doing right. this. It's, yeah. it's too big. There's too much. It would make it even more spectacular to know just all along, you know, the opposite side of the river from downtown Cincinnati, you would have yeah. something on display. I, I can't wait. And for, for those who haven't had an opportunity to get down there yet, cannot recommend it enough. I know. It, I cannot either. It is like nothing you'll ever see. It's, it's, it, and it's our region at its best. It Everybody was happy. Yeah, Everybody was friendly. Along. Yeah, it was it was super. Cannot wait for this go around. Yeah. You have a little trouble back there? I, I was trying to hide it. I know. My, my, um, I was deciding that would just point my right IFB out. is going to fall. Oh. So during this next block, you go ahead and read, and I'm going to fix it. Oh, I didn't okay. want it to fall on the floor during the show. Oh, well, that's, that's so you go ahead. Always thinking I'll of the viewer. Look, look yeah. at you. Um, hey, is there anything more romantic than a burger joint? Stick with me on this. Tickle Pickle shared this video of one of their oh. customers. That's Ben right there. Go proposing ben. to his girlfriend, Sarah at their restaurant in Northside. According to their post, Sarah and Ben had their first date at that exact table. That's so cute. And don't you worry, she said yes. Yay, Oh, That is so, that is so sweet. Look at really that Really sweet. And pretty, you know what? I'll also throw this out there. Okay. Pretty bold as a first date location. Because if you have someone who doesn't know and they're like, hey, how about we check out the Tickle Pickle? <laughs> You know what I mean? Like, if they're not in the know, that might, for some people, might be a turnoff right off the top. <laughs> where are they taking me? Right. Oh, that's where are they suggesting we meet? Or, flip side of that, it may attract some people that you weren't looking to attract. True. 
Uh, but those who are, who are in the know know it's a great place to grab a burger. And look and at that burger. Yeah. 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 Congratulations Congrats. to the happy couple. Yes. Love that. It's very exciting. We'll take a look at this cutie. The Cincinnati Zoo mm. has revealed the name of its newest resident. Come Meet on, little guy. Kalahari. Kalahari, so or cute. Cal for short, is a bat-eared fox born earlier this month at the zoo. Bat-eared foxes are native to the Kalahari Desert, so the name fits. Baby Cal has a whole lot of growing to do. So sweet. This is what an adult bat-eared fox looks like. We'll see it here in just a second. They, there we go. Oh, they, look at those ears. Yeah, they use those big ears, Bob, to detect insects that are burrowing in the ground. And I, and I had heard that when, when they're adults, maybe they can do it as, as, as young ones too, they can turn, they can turn they can, them in different, like different yeah. directions and whatnot, which is ears. really pretty cool. Oh my gosh, look at Baby and I, Cow. I, I love, you know. Oh, he I love the full name, but being able to call him Baby Cow. Oh, he was a fall downy. Just the sweetest. Oh, and he's got his toys. He's going to play with the toys. Just I like love a little dog. Zoo. Oh my gosh, how okay. Our zoo is great. I truly love our Fantastic. zoo. Okay, this is something different. An Ohio company is selling something that maybe you never knew you needed till now. Meet mm -mm. the Thermonator. Nope. The I'm company out. Throw Flame. That's the name of the company. Throw Flame says it's the first flamethrower wielding robot dog. Why do we need that? Well, I'll tell you. It, it boasts an arc flamethrower <gasps> that delivers, I know, on-demand fire anywhere, which can be operated remotely by Wi-Fi or Bluetooth. It shoots fire up to 30 feet. Oh, no, I don't know if I like this. And it can be yours for a cool $9,000. Four hundred twenty dollars. Look I'm how not, it bounces with its little fire. It wouldn't it be better if it was like a it th through water instead they, of flame. Like it could put out. It could go into. I'm, not, I'm being serious here for a second. Like sure. it could go into play, fires where firefighters, you know, it's too dangerous for them to go in instead of making oh. the fire. Now you had a very pleasant idea what to do with the, the the water dog, if you will. I wanted the water dog to battle the fire dog, have them fight. Right. That's What's that's that sort of show? exciting. Battlebots? Was it Battlebots where yes. they had robots? The robots that came were. In the, and... I think that's still around. Okay. Yes. And see, I, that that is something I would watch for a very very long time. A <laughs> couple of other things I have thought about with with the uh, with a. It's too the, scary the looking for me too. It, it is. It looks like it's straight out of the apocalypse. It, yes. it absolutely does. But they say it could be useful for like you got snow and ice on the driveway. No. For real. For real. What they say. Also good for like weeds. No. You'd have to be real. I know you, you because could you start could start. Easily I'm fire, just saying what I read. Okay. But here's the thing I was thinking about. It's an arc flamethrower. <laughs> We're gonna need one. Boss, don't know if you're watching. <laughs> We're gonna need that nine thousand dollars. I know. I know you love your arc, Cincinnati. I'm just throwing out there. Maybe, uh, maybe old Bob and Jen well, could use an arc flamethrower. We said it's an Ohio-based company. Boom! Community-driven. Let's get in there and. Maybe we could test one out safely somewhere. What I don't know is what their ARC stands for because I, 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 it's all capitalized, so I assume it's an acronym as well. Ours, by the way, is authentic, relevant, and community driven. Yeah. I have no this idea thing what they and, and I looked. I tried to figure Look, out what their the ARC one stood eyeball for. And stuff that is, yeah. I mean, not really an eyeball, but uh, oh, so, oh, I don't like it. It's I like it because of the light. That's nice. Mm -hmm. Oh, look, it's a laser. Put it in blank. <gasps> get a bunch of them. Get a bunch of laser dogs. Put them in blank. But no flames, please. No flames. Sure, you could stop watching now, but let's be honest, you want to see more. So click some of those links, or better yet, go ahead and tap subscribe. That way you'll catch more content from Local 12.